I'm going to show you how to active Fiori apps in SAP SRM. My name is Nudish, and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus with finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, you can find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly, be weekly, and monthly basis. I'm building a file that will become a PDF how to navigate in SAP at a glance YouTube channel. In case you want to receive this file, please get my LinkedIn ID that is in the description. Connect with me, send me a message that you want to receive the PDF file and your email, and once it's ready, I will send it to you. In the previous video of this channel, I explained how to navigate in the Fiori Apps library and how to find Fiori Apps. In case you haven't seen this video, you can find the link in the description of this one. Imagine that you are in a project that you need to test a Fiori and the Fiori is not in your launch parts. And the basis guy is far away or is very busy to attend to you. So I'm going to explain you very quickly how to resolve this in SAP S4 system. And now, without any further ado, let's go and let's see how to make these things happen in the system. Now we are in the Fiori library. So, if you haven't seen yet how it works out to navigate with this, I advise you to do the previous video that you can find here in the description of this video. So, let's start all apps. And then here, let's uh, search for the Fiori FB Austria. An example. So, as we saw in the previous video of the channel, we put this here. Here I have that. This is the uh, SAP B Fiori. So this is not the one that I want. I want something that is a uh, SAP Fiori SAP UI5. So this is the new technology, and you know that this is the app ID that we should be giving to the um, our our basis guy. Okay, but our base is, in, is uh, on all, or so this uh, not available to us, and I need to test the Fiori today. So what we do, we go here to the configuration, I think that's the one, and then we scroll down, and I have here the, the, the business goals, okay? So these are the business goals that SAP provides uh, in a standard way. Normally, we don't implement these roles because they have a lot of Fiori is inside, okay, not only this one that we are trying to, to access. So basically, I'm going to uh, copy paste this one. We are going to use this one. And then we go to our SAP B. If you are enjoying this video as me doing it for you, please make a like to us. <laughs> now we are in the SAP B, so we go to the transaction SU01. I'm pretty sure in a sandbox you have access to this transaction, so you can make your test and display the theory that you that you wish. So here you are going to insert your user, and then I'm going to click here to display. So we go to the tab of rules, and just to ensure that this role is not there yet, I'm going to make a search. Control V, and then I'm going to click. And then it, there is a heat displayed. Okay, so there is a heat displayed. Okay, there is a heat displayed. But the that is displayed is not the same as we saw in the Fiori library. Okay, SAP BR underscore BR underscore accounts. When we go there, I have SAP BR GL account. So this is it's not here. So what we are going to do. We are going to click here for change modes. Then we are going to go to the end of the... Now, I am in the end. I copy paste and I put it there. Don't be scared so many roles that I have because this is a test user. This is a test system. So everything was put in here in the user that they provided. So now I'm going to save this. And the changes are done. Now you know how to active Fiori apps in SAP s Thanks for watching this video. And if you have reached to this point, please leave your comments to this video. We would appreciate.
You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget, subscribe this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.